Hey everybody, this is Bitchin' and Pran, and this is a eclectic little mini haul. Um, was in my hometown and stopped in a little area there to check out some things, and this is what I got. Saw like on one street. Went to Ollie's. It's a, like a little discount store. It's not tiny. It's like a bigger store, but I usually don't get much there. But I did a walk through and I got these Ritz cheese crispers and they're well within date. And it was a nine pack for $1.79. And this is going in the chip box for lunches. Um, and also got, whoops, move this over. Got this Orbit 55 piece bubble mint gum. Well, I'm just going to set it down. That was $3.49. That seems expensive, but it's not because I've been pricing gum everywhere. And it's super expensive. I mean, you can get, yeah, at $1.25 at Dollar Tree, and you get like 15 sticks. So I wasn't buying any more gum until I thought I'd find a deal. That's why I was checking different discount stores and Sam's Club on the thing. But I don't chew like a ton of gum because I got like crown stuff. I'm being careful. They shouldn't come off, but I'm careful. By me, I do chew some gum. And um, it has to be sugar-free. And I I like, uh, and I have to watch mints. The, the mint isn't strong in this because I have, like, that throat issue. And um, so this was the best deal. And it also is within date. Some of their stuff is um, outdated uh, or close to date. I don't know if it's outdated or close to date. So anyhow, those two were from Ollie's. Then we went to a place, and it's in my hometown, Battle Creek, uh, called Penny Pinchers. And I do also do not get a lot there. And a lot of their stuff is out of date. Um, but I do get things there once in a while. I don't go there very often, but I decided to stop by because I was looking for the, the gum. And they hardly had any. But they did have these um, sealed. They had some, one open if you wanted to buy one. But they had the sealed... Um, cases of these Hickory Farms um, pretzels, the frosted pretzels with the sprinkles, and they're 12 packs, and they were $2 for the whole case. And they would, um, they had samples, and I think they were, they were expired at the beginning of the year. I could we couldn't find an expiration date the girl was looking to, but she said she just had some and they were good. And then she opened one up. She had just opened up the case above this to take some singles out. And she opened up one of the things and gave us some to try. And they're good. Good, crunchy, sweet. Um, so we bought a case of 12 packages like this for um, $2.00. So that makes it about, I think it's about 17 cents a piece. Look at that. That's a nice, nice big one there. Snow, uh, Hick, Hickory Farms Snowflake Pretzels. Let's try and see if they had the date on it. Just put it in. Um, it came with, I'm backing up here. It was real nice. It came with bubble wrap. Then there's 12 or six of them, and then there's bubble wrap and six more, and bubble wrap on the bottom. Like I said, they were really good. Um, so that was two dollars, so that wasn't bad. Um, and then we got Mr. Picky Pants, he won't eat the stuff he's supposed to eat, but we have to keep him eating uh, wet food. We learned that with our poor old cat that when he got sick when he was real old and he wouldn't eat any wet food and he, we couldn't keep him hydrated we had to do um ivs to keep him hydrated when he was sick and anyhow so we've always kept him eating tino eating a little wet food at a time and he likes only the gravy he doesn't like the food in it so we get him the real wet ones and there's a shortage of canned cat food still so we pick up the ones that we know he will eat and keep on hand, and sometimes they're hard to find, and we find them a lot of times at Family Dollar. These were 95 cents a can. We try to find them when they're a little bit cheaper, like 75, 85 cents a can we can, but when we find them, we buy a couple at a time. So we were in Family Dollar, which all this stuff was um, kind of in a plaza or right down the road from it. So we pick these up. 
and also a bag of the uh, these. These are not sugar free, but I love these and I keep a couple in my purse for road rage and also for a um, bump of sugar when I need it. I have glucose pills, but sometimes I don't need the whole glucose. I just need this or I just need a little peppermint. So I keep one or two in my purse and the kid takes one in his lunch every day for after he eats. Um, I also stopped at Dollar Tree, which was also on the strip there. And grab two for a dollar graduation cards um, for two graduates that I have to send cards to. And so that was it. I don't, I didn't do a total. Uh, these are all kind of split up, but I didn't waste any gas because everything was right in the line there. And I knew that was the cheapest gum because I'd already done my homework. I uh, cannot find the peppermints for a dollar anymore. Um, at some point I'm gonna now I probably will not buy the great big pail of them because I have no place to put that and I always worry about ants I do keep them in a, a jar in the cupboard a big mason jar um, and this is a great deal on these little crackers for the chip box and the food like I said when we find it we get like usually three cans at a time kind of build up a little thing of it that's a great deal on the cards as always and this was a great deal Two bucks for 12 of them. Um, and my uh, granddaughter is, one of them is having a party coming up, a birthday party, and I was thinking about seeing if they wanted me to grab another box of them, or if they wanted to grab another box, they're closer than me. Um, they live over there, near there, so they could stop by if they're going through. Um... So anyhow, this is Bitchin' and Praying. Give this a like and a share. And don't forget to subscribe. And pick up the deals when you see them. But be careful. See, I'm not, I, I had a list. I was looking for certain things. Um, uh, two, three, four of these, five of these things was on my list. Two of them was not, but they were great deals. Um, and I did not find the other things on my list. Um, I carry a list of things that I'm looking for. So I, I don't forget that I need them and then I try not to impulse buy expensive things or things that I'm not going to use or things that I don't need but this was my eclectic little haul give this a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe this is bitching and praying